Hey guys, what is up? Mike here, Laker Talk. Let's talk Lakers basketball. So, Lakers get the W tonight, 104-98 win over the Warriors. None of the starters really played. Steph played for a little bit for the Warriors, but other than that, it's really a game between the second, you know, role players and G League players. But it still feels good to get the W nonetheless. I don't care how we get it. We got the W. We're 2-2 two and two in the preseason, so... That feels good. Um, but overall, what I noticed about this game was right off the bat, none of the starters played, but it was really good to see them on the bench smiling, kind of back at home, away from China, no political stuff going on in their head, just very comfy, joking around, building camaraderie on the bench. And on top of that, injury updates with Kyle Kuzma, look like he's getting back in he can do some non-contact stuff anthony davis mri came back negative or cleared he really doesn't have a bad any anything any major damage on his stuff so he's listed as you know day-to-day or he's he's gonna be sitting out for a little bit but um i think it's just a matter like precaution or whatever i think it was if it was a regular season game they tape it up and he'll be able to play but other than that it was just uh it's clear to me that this China trip was a waste. It actually put us back a week compared to all the other NBA teams in the States that have been here playing in the States without the political turmoil, without that headache going on. Those teams that are here in the States playing, meshing well, building a rhythm with their teams, playing a couple games at home, that put us back a week, I think, in my opinion. So I think... Looking at that trip to China was a waste. Um, I think we just chalk it up as now we're here. We we play the Warriors the next two the next you know for the next week uh, for the rest of this week Wednesday and Friday, and then uh, we prepare for the Clippers on the twenty second. But um, I don't know how you know who's going to play the next. I think I think you know you'll see probably Bron and some of the starters. I think kind of get some conditioning in over the next couple of days or ne- next couple of games, but I don't know how if we're going to see uh, uh, Anthony Davis or anybody, anything like that, or Kuzma before the season starts. Um, not really concerned about that, but um, the fact that we're home was good to see those guys, you know, kind of like playing around, meshing well, kind of getting back into that home cook, you know, stuff going on. So good to see that. That China trip was a waste. Um, outside of that, what I like about this game, good to see Dwight Howard put up a double-double, getting some minutes, uh, really getting his conditioning up, look like you know he's healthy, he's running up and down the floor. Really good to see that. Um, JaVale McGee is doing his thing, but the fact that you, you get those two guys out there, getting them running up and down, um, healthy conditioning, uh, as Frank Vogel said, I think after the game, those two guys are going to be a big part of what we're, we're trying to do this year. And if they can bring that type of energy into the season, I think it'll go good for us amongst all our other guys getting healthy and back on the floor. Um, other than that, one guy that stands out to me is, is Kaycock. Not that he's, he's a big scoring threat or whatever, but I like his size. Uh, a guy six seven plays big, not afraid to take charges, not afraid to defend, not afraid to do a lot of dirty work because he does have a good man body. He has a strong body. He has a big six seven size body, and um, that's somebody that we need. Though they say he's going to be in the G League, obviously he's going to be putting up. He's going to be dominating in the G League. Question is, will he? Is he going to be? You know, get to the point to where he's brought up and provides us with you know decent minutes I don't know to be determined but I got like that off the bench that can play with like let's say a Kyle Kuzma you'll see a guy like like Kaycock kind of like putting in some of those uh, like some of the chip ins and just doing a lot of dirty work defending giving us some minutes you know fighting in and out around the rim and, and getting those putbacks and things like that um, I'm curious to see I want to see how he develops but that's pretty much always the case when we get a guy on our squad and we like we're looking at him, we think he can be the next whatever. I don't know, but 
Um, the fact that he's 6'7", he's a really nice size, and he, he can defend, he takes charges, he has a man body, um, you know, somebody to watch. And he, and he has good game. He just, you know, he has a good feel for the game. He's not, he's not, he's not scared, he's not a um, little tail between his leg. He, you know, he's out there, he want to, he want to, um, you know, get his hands dirty. And I like that, so to be determined, to be determined to see if this guy is somebody that can get called up and actually give us some some decent quality minutes you know off the bench anyway that's all i got for this game uh, we play warriors wednesday at staples and then on friday we go to um you know up north to play going to state for the final game um curious to see who plays um what our starters get back in right you know get another couple of games before the season starts uh, to be determined. We'll see. Anyway, hit me up in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you for coming. Like subscribing. Not much going on. The guys are still out. Waiting for our guys to get healthy so we can get, get this uh, this show on the road. Anyway, hit me in the comments. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Mike Sports LA. I'll holla at you guys. Peace.